Hello YouTube. Here's my updated CO2 system. I converted to having two bottles now. I did some research online. Supposedly only one bottle is rated for 20 gallons to actually have complete CO2 in your tank. Which I have a 55 gallon aquarium. So I put these additional bottle on. Individual lines going into my bubble counter. I get about two to three bubbles a second. I read, uh, install new bottles where I put silicone on top of each bottle and inside the cap for an airtight seal. I use two cups of sugar a teaspoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of baking soda. The baking soda helps reduce the acidicness of the CO2 gas along with the water and the bubble counter. I have a little secret which now is uh, revealed. I have a black light underneath my aquarium which stimulates the sunlight. Anytime I turn it on I get more bubbles. So it's proven to be wor uh, working. So that's inside my aquarium where I keep it encased. Reason for the black light. It goes up the back of the aquarium. To the check valve right there. Which helps the backflow of uh, aquarium water when I change my CO2. It comes down that black tube all the way down into my chamber. I got a chromatic air stone. Which puts more uh, back pressure as well on that check valve so the air stone is working great. The bubbles come out, get caught up in the current coming from the funnel one internal filter ready for a 20 ga size gallon aquarium. Nice that the current comes down in, bubbles go up, just keep on getting diced around. I don't know if you see those little tiny ones right there. They come all the way down. There's my suction cup that holds it in place. In my first video, you saw that the chamber used to be hooked on the front of the funnel filter. That's what's that big hole for. And I don't know if you can see those or not, but I have microscopic CO2 bubbles. The reason why I changed this is this big air bubble right here got really huge all the way down to the inlet. So this is the reason why I installed this new version which I still have that big bubble forming. I learned a tip if you can see that pin size hole when the pressure gets too great inside the chamber it releases as whatever it needs to get out. So there's my updated CO2 system. If you would please rate and comment and let me know if this was very useful. And once again thank you to YouTube and all you viewers posting and uploading videos. That's how I learned how to make a CO2 system.